Now let us discuss the 13th question that appeared in GS paper 3 this year. This question states, explain the changes in cropping pattern in India in context of changes in consumption pattern and marketing conditions. Now this question is a 15 marker question. So naturally you have to answer this question in 250 words. Now cropping pattern, it is an integral part of UPSC syllabus. As in GS paper 3, you can find out that cropping patterns in various parts of the country is mentioned. Hence this question, it is from this particular part. Now what is the possible reason for UPSC to ask this question? Now as we know that food and agriculture organization, it is celebrating international year of millets in the year of 2023. Also in this regard, the government of India, it is promoting the consumption of millets. Therefore, you can see that there is an increasing demand of millets in India. And this signifies changes in cropping pattern in the country. Further, whether this question was foundational or current based. Although the syllabus is foundational, but this nature of question is particularly current based. Because you are required to know about various facts regarding what are the cropping patterns across the country and what are the recent developments in changes with these cropping patterns. Also, the nature of this question is particularly easy because all this is in news throughout the year and an aspirant is required to know about these events. Now let us discuss this question in next slide. Now we will follow the standard template of starting an answer with an introduction then giving a definite body before concluding this answer. So the best way to start this answer is through providing the definition of cropping patterns. Now what is a cropping pattern? Cropping pattern, it refers to both spatial as well as temporal arrangement of crops in a definite geography. Now spatial arrangement, it refers to what kind of crops are grown in different areas of a particular country. Whereas temporal arrangement, it refers to what kind of crops they are grown in different segments of an entire year. Therefore, these two factors, they provide a key role in defining what are cropping patterns. Now the cropping, patterns in, now the cropping pattern in the country, it is influenced by many other factors such as government policies or changes in dietary preferences or what in long term agriculture practice of a particular area is. Further, government policies, they also play a key role in defining what are cropping patterns and how these crops are distributed across the country. But this question in particular, it asks us to define only two definite patterns. For example, we need to understand and highlight what is consumption pattern in the country and how it is influencing the cropping pattern in the country. Further, marketing conditions, they also play a key role in deciding what kind of cropping pattern the country follows. Hence, in the body of this answer, we will only focus on these two aspects that define cropping pattern. Now, let us first understand changes in consumption pattern. Now, the first important development in consumption pattern of a country is that we have seen reduction in millets cultivation since after our independence. Now, millets, it constituted about 48% of total crops grown in the country in the year of 1950 and 51. However, this reduced to about 25% in the year of 2016. Now, this drop in cultivation of millets can be attributed to many different factors. For example, government favors procurement of rice and wheat through their PDS program. Further, there are also value-added products that are available for both rice and wheat. Therefore, people find it easier to consume those cereals and therefore, they have started neglecting this millets altogether. Thereby. This millet consumption has 
reduced in our country and this also influences the cropping pattern in the country also we can see that there are dietary transition throughout the country as people they have become aware of nutritional and health aspects of many foods thereby we can see rise in cultivation of pulses as well as horticultural products now horticulture the growth of horticulture in the country it surpassed the cultivation of food grains in the year of 2015 and 16 and it has remained above food grains ever since thereby because of dietary transition we can see a transition towards growth of horticultural products further increasing demand for health centric foods and rising awareness about what kind of negative effects chemical fertilizers play people have become aware of use of organic products in the country hence we can see that demand of organic products in india it has increased in last few years and also it has influenced the cropping pattern in the country for example in 2016 organic products they were grown in 0.9% of total areas in the country whereas this figure it increased to 39 3.9% in the year of 2023 therefore due to increase in demand for organic produce we can see a change in cropping pattern towards cultivation of these organic producers now the after we have understood what kind of effect does consumption pattern has on cropping patterns we will now discuss what kind of effect marketing conditions have on cropping patterns now there are many different changes that highlight changes in marketing condition most important is the role that government both central and state they play in marketing of agricultural producers for example due to pda scheme as well as procurement under msp program government started government it favors procurement of both rice and wheat therefore we can see a change in rise in cultivation of both rice and wheat in the country further government also procures sugar from farmers and they provide subsidy to sugar mills in form of both fair and remunerative prices as well as state administered prices and due to rise in these both prices farmers have started growing sugar cane in the country therefore government's intervention in form of marketing support and procurement support as well as subsidies regime it has helped in changing the cropping pattern in the country towards cereals as well as sugar also important is the role of exports now products such as rice sugar as well as non crops such as tea as well as coffee they have seen increased demand in western markets like usa and uk as well as markets in middle east therefore farmers are growing these kind of crops so that they can export and earn more money therefore export demand can also influence our cropping patterns further we can see the rise of contract farming in the country now a farmer he enters into a contract with either a corporate or an agricultural trader to grow certain kind of crops and this is what is referred to as contract farming now with there is a rise of contract farming in india for example farmers of gujarat they are growing potatoes whereas farmers in punjab they are growing chikri as chikri is used to blend with different coffees and therefore we can see a rise in contract farming which has changed the cropping pattern in a country towards more commercial and horticultural crops hence we can see that both consumption pattern and marketing conditions they play a crucial role in determining the cropping pattern in india so to conclude our today's discussion we can say that both consumption pattern and marketing condition they influence this cropping pattern however the government should also take care about the need for food security 
as well as economic growth of farmers in the country. Therefore, we can conclude this answer by saying that both food security and economic growth of agriculture is important to further influence this cropping pattern so that the cropping systems in the country they become more remunerative for Indian farmers. Hence, this was all for today's discussion on question 13th of GS Paper 3 this year.